<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all, well, how you can reclaim some awesomeness on your PlayStation Vita, especially if you are an adrenaline user and you really want easier access to your PS1, PSP games, and even PSP homebrew. Now, what exactly am I talking about here? Well, all of these icons here are referred to as bubbles, and if you have used Adrenaline, which is the PSP emulator, or really unlocks the PSP emulator built into a modified PlayStation Vita, you'll know that you can use it to easily play PSP games, PS1 games converted to PSP game format, as well as PSP homebrew. Well, you can see that any type of Vita applications and Vita games that you install here have these nice bubbles, but the same does not happen for games through Adrenaline. So typically, you would launch Adrenaline like this. You fire up the Adrenaline app, and then once the ePSP fires up, you're going to load up everything from the PSP's XMB. Just as an example here, as an example right here, you can go to Game, Memory Stick, and as you can see, here's some PSP games. I've just copied over maybe about 20 or so that I have backed up. So you got your PSP games, and of course you got your PS1 games and any kind of homebrew they are wanting to play on here. It's really a great system, but many people might not want to go into Adrenaline and into the menu here every single time, especially if you're familiar with games that have been purchased for, you know, the PS1 or PSP on the PlayStation Store, you'll know that they end up generating their own bubbles. Well, we can do that ourselves here thanks to Adrenaline Bubble Manager. Adrenaline Bubble or Bubbles Manager from the One Lua team makes it really easy to not only generate bubbles, but even configure them further, customize them with different settings, and really make them your own, just changing, you know, not only the colors of the bubbles, but the art and all that stuff. Now, I'm not going to be fully delving into that. This is really just to reclaim these games and get them to show up on the home screen here. However, there is so much that you can do with the bubble manager. And I mean, just look, these look great right here. There's a lot of awesome stuff you can do. So first of all, we are going to need to download the bubble manager itself. The link is going to be down below in the description for this, and the GitHub page you can just check out right here. There is a lot that you can read, and I would recommend checking this out. Of course, it is going to only cover content in ISO, CSO, or PvP format, so really these are going to be your PSP games, and PvP is going to be your PS1 games as well as PSP Homebrew. Now if you want to download this, you can come up here, go to releases, and download the latest release of the Adrenaline Bubble Manager. Just download the VPK file and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Now, if you have a modified Vita, you should be more than familiar with how to transfer over files. You can use USB, FTP, or if you're using an SD to Vita, even transfer directly to the micro SD card by plugging it into your PC. For this, I'm just going to use FTP here, and I usually recommend WinSCP for this. As per usual, over on the Vita, if you're going through FTP, you can go ahead and launch Vita Shell. And inside of Vita Shell, you can hit the Start button make sure FTP mode is going to be used, and hit the select button, which will now run the FTP server on your network, and you have your IP address as well as port number for the Vita. Over at WinSCP, you can create a new session, and when you create a new site here, you really just want to use the settings that, you know, I had here, for example, I have this saved already, but you want to do FTP, no encryption, put in your IP address, your 1337 port number, and do an anonymous login. Now, once you log in here, you can navigate over to the UX0 directory, in case you're not already there, and find somewhere you can easily find the VPK file. Typically, that might be downloads, or even it might be a new folder that you create right here. You can call it VPK. So I already have that here. I'm just going to drag and drop my VPK file over here, wait for it to transfer, and that is it. So at this point, we can disconnect out of here. Now at Vita Shell, we can close out of the FTP server, go down to UX0, go wherever we downloaded the VPK file, and install it like any other VPK file. At this point, you should be more than familiar with the process, so I'm not going into the nitty gritty here. Now once it's installed, you can hit the triangle button, delete this, that is all okay. 
and we're now going to exit out of Vita Shell. And there should be a new app for you called the Adrenaline Bubbles Manager. And all we need to do is open this up and fire it up for the first time. Now it's going to say that the Adrenaline Bubble Booter has been installed and it needs to restart your Vita. So press OK. It's also going to warn you that you must open up Adrenaline again, so we're going to do that once we restart the system. Your console should automatically reboot, and before we do anything else, we need to first open up Adrenaline. So go to your Adrenaline application and fire it up. We're going to make sure that we can get to the XMB successfully, and everything seems to be working here. So here we go, we can go over to Game, Memory Stick, and our games load up just fine. So with that, I'm going to exit out of Adrenaline because everything seems to be working with no issue. Next up, we do need to open up the Bubbles Manager yet again. So fire it up and wait. Now once you come over here, it's going to show all of your games that you have set up. So I got a PSP game, I've got several PS1 games of course. And at this point, we can now create bubbles for all of them. So before we start here, I am going to give you all a warning. First of all, you are going to need to keep pressing OK to these next steps here. And secondly, do keep in mind one thing over on the live area here. This is only limited to 100 bubbles. So for example, if you check this out, I currently have 23 games and it's going to generate 23 bubbles. Technically 22 because I already made one for Silent Hill Origins, but I digress. So the point being, if you have like 200 PSP games on here, it's going to create 200 bubbles and you're going to have to play around a bit with once you hit that limit, you're going to have to start putting them in folders like this and restarting your system and really just kind of reorganizing. So do keep that in mind if you have a lot of games through Adrenaline. But either way, right here, if you want to create a bubble for an individual game, you can select the game, press the X button, and you can then customize the title. I don't need to change this around, so I'm just going to hit R2 and let it convert all the resources. It should look a little something like this. And it should be done. Now, if you want to do this all in bulk, you'll see here that the ones that are green mean that bubbles have been installed. The ones that are white do not have bubbles yet. And since I have another 21 and I don't want to do that individually, we can press the triangle button and we can now create bubbles for all non-linked games. Do keep in mind, like I said, there is a 100 bubble limit on the home screen. So if you have a ton of games here or you have a ton of games in general, you're going to have to do a lot of reorganizing. But if you're ready to continue, you can hit yes. And it's going to look a little something like this. For every single game, you're going to be prompted for a bubble title and you're just going to have to keep either customizing them to your heart's content or you're going to keep pressing OK. Since I have to do this another probably, I don't know, 15 times, I'm just going to go through this process here. And once we get that all set up, as you can see, it's now going to do it in bulk once you get the naming down. So at this point, you really just have to let it do its own thing. It's going to now churn through every single bubble that you have set up, and it's going to convert all the artwork as needed. Just give it some time. So here we go. We are all wrapped up at this point, and even if we exit out of this, check this out we can come back over to the live area and look at this now i do mistakenly have silent hill origins here twice because i did accidentally install it twice but either way we do have all of these just jumping out beautifully at us and this is just great now we can easily launch any of these here so for example if i want to play any ps1 or psp game let's load up one of my favorites infected you can simply boot it up like this and as opposed to going through adrenaline I mean, this is still using the same EPSP emulator here, but you are going to have direct access to it on the live area, which is just going to make it so much easier, so much simpler to select. So there we go. I mean, it's a little something like that. It works out super well, and we still have, of course, the Adrenaline menu. And the same thing, of course, for all your PS1 titles. So if I'm going to select, let's see what we're going to be playing here. How about Metal Gear Solid? Why not? We can go ahead and fire this up, and it's going to be about the same thing here. As you can see, that all comes up here. And if I press the circle button, we can go to like open the official settings, 
And this is where, of course, you can change your controller settings, memory card utility, switch discs, just all of that right here for a PS1 game. So I'm going to exit out of this as well, too. Now, I want to come back here because it's also worth noting, I mean, this is so untapped right here. I am just scratching the surface because, really, most people are just going to want to get their games showing back up on their live area. But there's several things that you can do. So, of course, you can change around what your bubble color is going to be by default using the left and right buttons on the D-pad. You can also, of course, select which options you want here. So if you want it stretched or not like that, you can also set images pressing, you know, the right shoulder or right bumper there, R1. So just really playing around with all of these here if you so wish to. So something like that works. You can also press the start button here for extra settings on these. Change around any of these settings if you're wanting to. I'm going to get out of this. And you can select a specific bubble like Silent Hill Origins. I'm going to press circle right here. And I'm actually going to uninstall the very first one here. So here, of course, you can edit the boot.bin, which most people aren't going to need here, inject new images, and of course, uninstall, you can always do that. So I'm just going to hit select to remove that specific bubble. That's all good. And just in case anybody runs into that problem, they're able to do so. But you can see every single game here, which is linked to every single ISO or application. And that is about it. So really at this point, you can have fun with customization on here. And again, this is just scratching the surface, but the beautiful thing about this is yet again, just checking out right here, all your games are now available to you for easy access and you don't have to go through the Adrenaline app every single time. But anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully this helped out. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And if you did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But either way, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.